Hello my friends, today I have another creative tutorial for you. This is how to create a warm sunburst effect. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer from Vienna, Austria and I want to thank my patrons for supporting me and making these videos possible. You can see here, this is the original picture. It's nice, but it's a little bit too cool from the atmosphere, from the temperature and it looks a little bit too technical. So. What we have here is a nice like summer happiness, warm atmosphere, it just feels good. And one of my favorite tricks to do that is to use the ellipse tool over here. So you just draw out an ellipse and you can use that as a light source. It's really cool. I'm gonna show you now how to do that. And by the way, I downloaded an image, I just found that on Google and I'm just going to use that as a source for color picking. So I'm not going to use the picture itself, I'm just using the colors. So we go in here to fill, set this to gradient. So this is for the ellipse of course in this case. And we want to set the type to radial and we select our first color here on the left and use our color picker to select a nice warm color in here. So in this case should be a rather bright color. Oh, let's, let's take this color here. So that's great. So now we have this in the middle. The other side could stay white. That's okay. Um, opacity 100% on both sides and the midpoints at 50% in the middle. So that is great. Now we can hide the other picture again. And the first thing we want to do right now is to go with the ellipse layer selected to our effects these are the layer effects and we want to click on Gaussian blur and set it to a very high radius. In this case, it's a hundred pixels. You can see here, this is already uh, like a light source a little bit. And the first thing now we're gonna do is to set it to screen as the blend mode, screen. So that makes a big difference. We're gonna move it up in the corner. And the reason why I'm choosing to move it up in the corner is when you look at the photo, you can see that the guy here has this kind of light reflection on his head and this is coming from the top right side. So this is where our sunburst is coming from. So we're gonna create one sunburst and you're gonna see in this tutorial that I'm working with multiple layers to build up the sunburst. That's pretty important. I'm going to reduce this a little bit so we just have this nice light atmosphere in here. Right now it looks like this and we're gonna build up the picture uh, making the sunburst bigger, creating an atmospheric light and also reducing the light on the left side to make it more interesting having a nice atmosphere in the picture. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to duplicate this layer and I'm going to set it as the blend mode to soft light. And then we drag this out into the picture. You can see like this. Uh, so this is a lot bigger. It's still um, the sunburst of course coming from the top right side, uh, but it's going into the room. So that's pretty important uh, that we have that. You can see it makes a huge difference of the light that we have and creates a really nice atmosphere in the picture. The next thing we want to do is click down here and this is also a really cool effect. You go to adjustments and you select the lens filter. And with the lens filter, you can warm up the atmosphere of the pictures. You can see here suddenly all of the picture is a lot warmer. Uh, but we want to do here is uh, click on our filter color, uh, set it to more in this case, more like a peachy, uh, warm light and of course this is a live preview so you can see in the background if you actually like the light atmosphere you can change here the opacity um, of the effect. By the way click down here so preserve luminosity is selected uh, so the brightness stays the same. We are just changing the color of the picture and we will also change the blend mode again to soft light that makes a big impact as you have seen. So it also clears up the picture a little bit. Uh, so that's very helpful. Let's test here with the colors. Don't just look on the main subject, also look over here on the left side on this uh, punching back here. Uh, if you like the colors that you're creating, if this is the right 
warm sunlight that you want to have in your picture. Okay, I am happy for now. I will come probably back in a minute to adjust it a little bit more. The next thing we are going to create right now is um, a new gradient. So this time we are going to create a rectangle and we are going to put it here over most of the picture. And actually I'm leaving it like this and uh, blending it out because we need one with the exact colors of this yellow and the white later on. And I will actually duplicate this duplicate it and I go to the lower layer I make it visible again uh, so here we are again and I will now simply select a nice dark blue color here so uh, this is good uh, by the way I'm going in here and I'm selecting noise like this so we have it here a little bit more noisy because it's darker in the picture um, and yeah, pictures get a little bit noisy when it's dark and also it makes it a little bit crisper in the shadows. It's barely really actually visible, but it's still kind of a, you know, it's there and this makes it a nice effect. So, um, then on the right side, we're going to set this to black and we're going to set this to 0% opacity. Reason for that is that the color is blending not just to zero opacity, but also through the color. So we want, because this is a dark blend, blended into a dark color. So we are going to select black. This is the explanation for that. Um, right now I'm zooming out a little bit and I will rotate this rectangle so it matches our light source on the other side. You can see, whoops, this is going to... We can see here, so this is matching uh, the light that's coming here from the upper side. And I'm going to stretch this out. I'm going to stretch this out. So we have it like that. Uh, like this is good. Maybe rotate it a little bit back. Okay, like that. Good. I'm bringing it back into uh, the larger view. And now we, of course, want to again adjust our uh, blend mode. So the first thing we are going to do is... With the layer selected, again, select soft light. And I want to move this below the layer with the lens filter. So the lens filter also affects this. And you can see right now, this is way too dark, which is not a problem because we're just going to reduce the effect with the opacity. You can see here, and you're just moving this along until you find something and say, hey, I'm happy with that. I like how this turned out. Um, so, well, it's good for you. It works great for you. Okay, so you can see already we have a very nice light atmosphere here in our picture. Uh, the only thing that I think is missing right now is that we have kind of this light ambience. So this summer light is flowing through the air, through all of the atmosphere and has this like very nice summer feeling in the picture. And to create this, uh, we are going to use again the rectangle. This is why I made the copy before, because I wanted to preserve the light colors of our yellow and the white that we selected in the original. And with this rectangle selected, I'm going to set this also to linear. Uh, but in this case, we want the color to come from the other side because the sun is coming from the right side. So I'm clicking on reverse and this is just turning it around. So this is really helpful for us. And the next thing I'm going to do is I click on the white color selected and set the opacity to zero. So we have a very nice blend from left to right. There we go. I'm going to move this over here. I'm going to zoom out a little bit uh, just so I see what I'm doing. I rotate it uh, similar to the source of the sunlight and make this pretty big. And by the way, uh, one thing you want to make sure, especially in this case, uh, but also in the cases before, uh, is that you click... Um, on the gradient tool here because this will show you where this line is you can see here this line so now right now uh, the gradient should go over to the middle and not end here in the middle so this is a problem for us and this is why we have to take this side the white side here and move it over to the other side so actually the gradient is going to work as we have set it up so you can see now it's going from one side of our rectangle to the other side which is marked here by this blue line 
Okay, so this is now over all of the picture. That's pretty important. And now again, of course, we can select our um, blend mode here, how we want to uh, have this blend with our picture. So I'm going to set it to soft light again. Or actually, let's see. Uh, let's reduce the opacity a little bit. Let's work with the opacity in this case, probably better, um, because we want to have the light visible in the air. And I will set this to 22% and then I will go in here to our fill color. And now I'm going to adjust the color a little bit because this will influence all of the feeling of the light that we have in the air in our picture. So let's move this around and find a nice setting where we are happy with it. So this is like, it looks a little bit like cognac, like a warm, really uh, lovely atmosphere in the air. So um, probably here feels good to me. Okay. So now, as you can see, we have a nice atmospheric light. I will turn it off and on. You can see this is really light that's floating all of the room, giving atmosphere to everything you can see in the picture. And this is why I like also this big gradient for the, for the ambient light. Okay, so this was the tutorial for today, how you create this really nice uh, light effect in your photo. Thank you very much for watching. If you like my tutorials, maybe subscribe to my channel. I do two tutorials per week. And if you want to support me even more, head over to Patreon where I have some great options for you. Thank you very much and see you soon. Bye.